I like that. What time is it? Must be skyline time. going on everybody thank you for clicking on the video welcome to skyline chili a lot of people have been asking me to do this probably because skyline actually originated here where i live in cincinnati ohio and it's a pretty cool story the founder came from greece and he came with a bunch of family recipes but when he came over initially he didn't have enough money to bring his whole family so he started working as a chef in another ch in another chili restaurant until he actually had enough money to bring them back and i believe that actually took about 10 years or so so it was quite a long process but when he came over with his family recipes he started working on them and perfecting them and by the time he did that that he was able to start his own restaurant called Skyline Chili. And the reason that it's called Skyline is because the original location had a great panoramic view of the Cincinnati skyline, which is beautiful if you guys have never seen it. Now, being that I'm not actually from Cincinnati, I just moved here a few years ago, I wouldn't consider myself like a fanboy of Skyline, but I will tell you that people that were born here absolutely love this place. And the, the, the recipe is a secret, what makes it so special, but what is known is they add cinnamon, and I don't know if it's chocolate or cocoa to this cocoa in the chili is is that cocoa? No, the chocolate not. I don't believe so there uh, should be cinnamon in it though. cinnamon okay sounds very strange I realize that but it's actually pretty good Burrito with onions and then cheese fries and buffalo chicken wrap. Think that's enough food? <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about the little history lesson and showing you guys around inside so you can get the whole experience, you know. And honestly, I've never even been in a skyline and I've lived in Cincinnati for gosh probably three years now but if you're wondering if people look at me like I'm a complete idiot when I go in those places with this camera yeah 100% but that's okay this is actually more food than I thought it was gonna be but per tradition I'm gonna let this sit and get cold while I shower and I eat a bag of Brussels sprouts and then we'll finally get into it in case you are new here we are on a mission to make vegetables cool So I'm sitting on my deck on the ground for a few reasons. One, I've never used this angle before, so I figured we'd switch it up. And the other, if I get much higher, I think the wind is gonna kill my audio. But we're gonna start out here with the three-way. This is what they're most notorious for, the three-way, the four-way, and the five-way. Essentially, it's just spaghetti, chili, and cheese. But for some reason, when it, when it all comes together, and again, maybe it's just the way they make their chili, it's pretty good. I'm going to try my best not to move around as much in this video because I really want to finish this movie. I have three days left before it expires. It's The Accountant. Very appropriate, I know. Everyone was telling me to watch it and I feel like, do you really want to watch a movie about your own profession? <laughs> Back in the day, I don't know if you guys remember, there was this game on Facebook that was really popular called Farmville, I think it was. And my dad, since he's a farmer, got like thousands of requests to play this game. <laughs> that kind of reminds me of the same thing. But anyway, we're going to move on. I think this is a burrito. Now, you would think after that challenge that I did last week with that 20-pound burrito, I would want nothing to do with this, but it actually sounds pretty good. I guess I was somewhat right. This is the buffalo chicken wrap, this thing. If you go to Skyline, this would probably be, I think it'd be my number one. I think I like this more than the three-way. This would have been so perfect without the sour cream. 
I'm gonna try to scrape it off the best I can. You guys are not gonna like that. Some of you guys will not like that. If your team knows sour cream, you let me know. But I don't wanna lose the cheese, man. <laughs> Looking at the receipt here, I think this is the deluxe burrito, and I can't even tell what all is in here. It looks like beans, a lot of cheese. I don't even know what else. Maybe that's it. A chili, of course, but all right, we'll try it out. Yeah, it just tastes like a, a chili burrito. It's, it, I wouldn't say, I mean, it's good, but it's not, you know, my good. Nowadays, got a side chick on side chick. They keep hacking my iPhone, about to get a side kick. I don't like to stand up, so that girl don't ride it. America, me buy it. Yard, Depreciation schedules on hundreds of different items. Full time and contract employees. Department of Defense classified accounts. If you thought I was lying. So here's my current life dilemma. At first, I thought I got lucky and they gave me two cheese conies when I only ordered one. But what I think they did is they gave me two cheese conies instead of one coney and one chili cheese sandwich. Unless this is a chili cheese sandwich. What's the difference, really? It's probably the same thing, honestly. But this is supposed to be a menu challenge. It's supposed to have one of every every category on the menu. So they kind of they kind of ruined that. But that's okay. I'm, I'm sure you guys will forgive me. So since this is... Oh, man. What we're going to do to make the best out of the situation is one, I'm going to put this away for tomorrow for dinner, and I am going to make the most ignorant thing that I can. I'm going to try to make this a little bit more interesting for you, just to compensate. Guys, that was so much chili and so much cheese. I was actually gonna make a joke about how much cheese was on there. I just figured it'd be really cheesy, you know, so I didn't even go there, but you can tell I'm an accountant, see? It all comes back full circle. But my stomach does need a break. It is only like, it's, it's about eight o'clock right now. So I'm gonna take, you know, 30, 40 minutes before we really get into dessert. But I feel like that menu is manageable. Now, I didn't do every single item, but we did get every bucket, every category, right? So, let me know what you guys think about Skyline, if you have it in your area. If you don't and you come to the Midwest, I would recommend it. It's uh, it's unique. But I want to try this Boo Fit cookie. I just want something in my system that's not cheese, honestly. Get this, guys. 10 grams of protein, zero sugar, nine grams of fiber, vegan, keto, organic, non-GMO. I mean, good, good lord, that is... Uh, that is quite the lineup. It's not the best cookie I've ever had, but given the, the health factors of it, I'd say it's pretty good. Lightning strikes by my window. It's my chest right in the morning. Junk bowl and dancing food. You guys gotta like the video for that. Come on now. I know I'm gonna be late, even though for me it's not Easter yet. I think Easter is it's either next weekend or two weekend weekends, but I have some videos back all I need to get out first. So by the time this video comes out, Easter will be over. But we're still gonna try these eggs out. I don't know which one this is. Ah! This is the OG right here, the Reese's egg. One of the best. And then every other candy bar copied them. So Snickers, they did it pretty good. Ooh, the Twix egg. I mean, to me, it just tastes like a Twix. There's just a lot of marketing in one bowl right now. So lastly, the Butterfinger. Get that uh, piece of cereal off there. You know, this is like a regular Butterfinger stuffed with even more peanut butter inside. This might be the winner. Which would you guys choose? Would you go, maybe, maybe you never had them, but if you had to choose, would you say Butterfinger, Twix, Snickers, or Reese's? Let me know in the comments.
I did not think I was gonna finish that. That is just so much dairy in my body right now. I'm gonna regret that later, but <laughs> food is done. No more. As for the movie, if anybody cares, it's pretty good. It's pretty much a documentary about my life, you know. <laughs> um, if you guys have ever seen it, let me know what you think. But I'm gonna finish this and I'm headed to bed, guys. I'm gonna sleep like a baby. So thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. You could've been doing anything. Anything in the entire world. And you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That is pretty awesome. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed it. That really does help me out a lot. You made it to this point. You had to have liked something, right? Feel free to click on the videos to sign in my head. We'll hang out a little bit longer. I look forward to talking to you guys next time.